just finishing up doing some shopping for the trip. Okay. I think we got enough stuff. I think so. Is there anything we're missing? Sir. Between me and you, we got $750 worth of food. Where's to do still. Get dog food and fishing supplies and the chart water. And drop our cars off and pick Jetty up. And get fuel and distilled and water. water and ice and regular water. And go to bed. <laughs> and then wake up at 5 a.m. to leave. At least we don't have to go grocery shopping for that boat. It's early in the morning. We're not morning people. I'm not. Sierra is. We're just trying to get as far south as we can before we cross to the Bahamas tomorrow morning. So hopefully we can get all the way to Miami and uh, I think we'll be able to. Otherwise, Fort Lauderdale. Hey, what's up everybody? We just fueled up, we got some fresh water, we stopped at the marina, pumped out, got everything done we had to get done. Now we're cruising down as far south as we can and we're gonna take the ocean since it's nice and calm, we can do some fishing. Uh, but before we got in the ocean, we gotta clean this mess up here. All right, we also gotta take everything and we gotta lash it down and secure it. We gotta pretend that someone's gonna take our boat and kinda shake it back and forth, side to side. And whatever you think is gonna fall is definitely gonna fall. So we gotta like take these baskets and secure them. Just passing by Peanut Island now in Palm Beach and the water is already gorgeous. Sierra's driving, she's doing a great job. Jenny's co-piloting. He's doing okay. Going out, Palm Beach Inlet. How's it look, Sierra? Beautiful. Think and we're gonna flat. hit some waves? I hope not. <laughs> Looks flat as can be out there. Sierra. I like sitting upright. Hey guys, so our boat's there. It's supposed to be behind here. Hey Problem number one. Our clip broke. Okay. What happened, Billy? The clip broke already. What's happening? Look at the dolphins! Oh, Alright, so far we're in the ocean, everything's going okay. We lost the little boat once, real quick, no big deal. We got a nice big shackle on it, so it won't happen again. So we're off of Palm Beach, Boynton area, and we were just a little bit further out. We we're probably like, how bit four miles out? And we're like right on the edge of the Gulf Stream. But if you go just a little bit further out, it was crazy how much bigger the waves were and, and rougher it is. And now we're just a mile further in. So we're like three miles out instead of four miles out. And it's just like incredibly calmer. There's still a little bit of chop on the water, you can see. But you can see the line out there where like all of a sudden it picks up. And it's much bigger swell, steeper chop just because the Gulf Stream it's blowing hard against that north wind going that way. It's crazy. What happened, Sierra? Stop. Come on. No, that's embarrassing. Hey, we, we would do it if it was us. You would do it if it was me. Can you go get her water? Tell 
us what happened. Jetty got seasick. Jetty's not feeling so hot. You feel better? push-ups, sit-ups, and air squats. Sierra got a head start, but I'm gonna try and catch up. Sierra just beat me by like three reps. All right, we just anchored in Lake Boca and we're starting to make some dinner and Sierra is in the water again. She's getting the rest of the barnacles she couldn't get off the other day. She's awesome. 